The film starts with a fast-paced action sequence. The commander is trying to lead his team to defuse a bomb. The shooting escalates, and a team member is in danger. The leader distracts the enemies, shoots at them, but also gets shot. He eventually dies. The film cuts in an internet cafe, where Quan is revealed to be a gamer. He is the leader of the team. His friends tell him to go out with them, but Quan has no money. He lies and says he has something to do. A phone rings right next to Quan's seat. He picks up, and a female voice says that she forgot her phone. She gives him her address to bring the phone in, and says she will pay him for that. Quan goes to her house. The door is open, and he finds the girl taking a bath. She tells him to let her phone on her bed and take the money that's waiting for him. Quan does so. Before he leaves, he tells the girl she should not let her door open while she is in the bathroom. Quan returns home and sleeps. The next morning, police agents kick his door down and arrest him under the charge of murder. He supposedly killed the girl who lost her phone. Mysteriously, a knife full of her blood is found in Quan's house. His fingerprints are found in the girl's house and on the murder weapon. His mother finds a lawyer for her son and he is taken in court where he is found guilty and sentenced to serve a lifetime in prison. The news go wild and report that he is a killer who is addicted to video games and can't separate fantasy from reality. Quan's first day in prison is tough. Everyone wants to get their hands on the fresh fish. He is taken in front of Ma Doc, the inmate who controls the prison. He blames him for the murder of the girl, but Quan gets angry because he is innocent. He charges at Ma, but the other inmates serve him a good beating. The guards take Quan, and he will spend 30 days in isolation. His punishment is over, and his mother visits him with his lawyer, Min. She tells him she is doing everything in her power to help him. Ma's gang won't leave Quan alone, and they beat him up every day. On lunchtime, a man sits next to Quan. Rumor has it he is a serial killer who tortures and kills his victims. He tells Quan that he must have some experience in martial arts, since he has lots of endurance in receiving a beating. He gives Quan some plant leaves to treat his wounds, and tells him to use his knowledge and fight Ma. He has already started making him uncomfortable. Quan follows his advice and defeats Ma and his men. He has a visit from Min, who hands him a paper to sign and tells him his mother passed away. Unfortunately, he can't attend the funeral. A fight breaks in the prison yard, and Ma intends to stab Quan. Quan cuts him first and then stabs himself in the belly area. While he is being taken at the hospital by a police van, we see a flashback to the lunch table. The serial killer tells him that he has to hit the right spot or else it will all be for nothing. Quan beats the policeman in the van and escapes. He manages to get to his hometown and visit his lawyer. He asks Min if he was able to find anyone he can give him an alibi, but they've had no luck yet. Min calls the police and Quan and asks to escape again. Quan researches his own case on the internet. In his mailbox, there is some footage which claims that he met the murdered girl on social media and then they met in person in a club. They left the club together and the girl was found dead the next day in her bathroom. Quan is contacted by a mysterious girl, Mr. Harry. She always uses her phone to talk to him, even when they meet in person. She takes him at her base and prepares a meal. Soon, three other guys join. They are introduced as Young Guru, Demolition, and Negative Space. Quan knows who they are. They are the members of his tactical force gaming team. They say they gather to help him. The other two members, Cover and Conceal, couldn't make it today. They also praise Mr. Harry for using her hacking skills to find Quan. Mr. Harry has found some clues that Quan's case has in common with some other murder cases. One of those clues is a large white truck which has been present in many murder cases. She traces that white truck and it belongs to a junkyard. Quan and Young Guru visit that junkyard and see two well-dressed men walking around and driving away in a black SUV. Quan follows them to a house. The two men carry something that looks like a large case. They load it in the SUV and drive back to the junkyard. 
At that house, a team of people who are suited up in protective costumes are thoroughly cleaning the house. It seems like they are wiping the clues. The two men carry the case from the SUV to the truck and change the truck's stickers, making it appear like a truck for frozen products. Yanguru follows the truck. Quan joins him, and Yang tells him these guys delivered the case in this building, but he knows nothing further. He tried to break in, but he couldn't. The team devises a plan, and they work together to execute it. The plan succeeds, and Quan gets into the building. While he walks around, Mr. Harry manipulates the cameras and replaces the footage, so the cameras just show empty hallways. Quan gets into an apartment, which belongs to a rising movie star. He sees the case which was carried and delivered by those suspicious men, and he opens it. The actor is tied up and dead in it. Quan has to hide because of a group of people come in the room. They seem to know what they're doing, and they are staging and framing the actor's death in a certain way. When they are done, Quan comes out and looks at the dead actor. The viewer is taken through a mini camera that's installed on the television set, and the person who is looking at it. He is Quan's lawyer. The film presents a flashback in which we see the lawyer is part of the organization that stages and frames murders. A woman comes to him and asks for his help. The actor has been killed indeed, but they need to frame it and blame it on someone else. Min comes up with a complete story around the actor. They find out everything about his life and then proceed to blame his murder on an innocent woman. The work they do is detailed and precise, with no room for errors. Min plays one last move. He makes a call and says he needs to get someone out of jail. Quan's team analyzes the fingerprints that were planted at the murder scene. They belong to the woman who is going to get the blame for the murder. They track her down and install a bug on her phone to keep an eye on her. That woman receives a call by a female operator who tells her someone has found her wallet. Quan recognizes that voice. This is the same female voice that called him some months ago to lure him in the murder scene. The innocent woman is going to get set up. Mr. Harry, who now trusts Quan and tells him her real name is Yu, traces the call center, and they now know who the female voice belongs to. Quan follows that operator, and he is just ready to grab her, but she is saved by a biker, and they ride off. Quan hunts them down with his car, but the police is now hunting Quan. Quan's car breaks down, but luckily, the police vehicles are crashed and immobilized by a truck. However, Ma appears and knocks Quan out. Quan wakes up in a warehouse, and he is held by Ma's men. Mr. Harry has called the police, and she screams that she's being held hostage by Quan, the fugitive. The police burst in the warehouse, interrupts Ma from cutting Quan open, and Quan gets a chance to escape. Mr. Harry picks him up with his car, and they drive away together. They realize that a GPS tracker has been installed in Quan's mother's necklace, which was given to him by Min. Ma speaks with Min, who tells him that he can earn his freedom if he kills Quan. Back at the base, Quan's team creates two drones and they fly them to spy on Min. They are able to listen to some very shady conversations. They are sure he is hiding something. The team takes action and they first vandalize the actor's murder scene. They wipe the fingerprints, and they mess up the DNA cues. Min orders his own men to clean the scene, and comes up with a new plan for the actor's murder framing. Quan and his team get in the middle, and attack Min's operatives. The chairman of the organization pays Min a visit, and is very angry at him, because this job is getting delayed. Min's assistant is very worried this time. Min tells her to relax. The actor's case is going to be settled. He switches the news on. The reporters say that the actor's body was found dead in a motel. The reporters can't be stopped by the police and they charge in the room. The chairman's daughter is found on the room's bed next to the actor's dead body. Quan calls Min and asks him if he liked his trick. He copied his methods to make this work. Min walks into the kitchenette to talk with Quan on the phone and laughs hysterically. He says he likes being challenged for once. His job has become dull. He mumbles, but Quan hangs up. He gets angry because he feels disrespected. Min looks at his secretary, 
who is unconscious in her office, and runs to his secret room. Quan gets to him and pushes him in the room. Quan teaches him a hard lesson. He sticks a USB in Min's server to copy the data. Min says it's going to take around 30 minutes because the servers have lots of data. But Quan doesn't have that much time because Ma has seized his friends and he will kill them. Quan can't kill Min because he's told Ma that if he doesn't call him in 15 minutes, he should immediately execute Quan's team. Quan furiously drives back to his friends and is able to save them. They all get in his car and escape. Ma and his men are after him. The news report that Quan and his team are the murderers of the actor and they kidnap the chairman's daughter to frame her for the murder. An action-packed sequence takes over. In the end, Young and Demolition are arrested by the police while Mr. Harry is taken by Ma. Quan saves Mr. Harry and drops her off. Then he drives to a TV station to give himself up. This whole time, Min has been so distracted that he has not noticed the USB drive being still connected to his server. The data transfer has been complete. Mr. Harry copies the data and Space brings cover and conceal on the scene. They start a live broadcast and expose the truth. They reveal how Min has been manipulating the murders to frame innocent people and assist his high-profile rich clients get away with murder. Min is arrested and he gets thrown in jail where he comes face to face with Ma's unpleasant welcoming. The innocent people are freed, and the real criminals are arrested and sentenced. The film ends with Quan and his team eating together in a bright environment. Quan visualizes about his mother, and a smile is formed on his face. Subscribe to see more videos like this, turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel grow. Thank you for watching.